What's up, everybody? It's your boy Ooch, and I'm here with my brother Ooch, and we are back again. Once again, how y'all doing today? So, as always, for the uh, last batch of consistent weeks, of course, I am here again with yours truly, brother Ooch. Brother Ooch, how you doing today, sir? Going through the motions. Not how it is. Join <laughs> <laughs> no. the day, I guess. <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay. So we uh, we both we both uh, pretty much just got back from our respective gyms. So I uh, he told me he was balling balling getting that cardio in today, right? No. Yep, no. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I had a. Uh, I had I had my uh, nice everyone's favorite leg day today, so it was yeah the dreaded <laughs> leg day, and uh, you know we got through it. You know my body is finally getting uh, a little bit more. I mean I'm still sore regardless. It's still gonna freaking hurt a little bit, but you know it's getting to a point where leg day is not as uh, crazy. I guess I should uh, say so. Mm -hmm. That's a positive, but. Aside from lifting, okay, of course we are here for yet another episode of the Full Power Podcast, and you know, this week is going to kind of, as far as the timing goes from when we recorded this episode to when we release this episode, I'm pretty sure this week the uh recording schedule didn't really line up with when the new chapter for dragon ball super came out so unfortunately we're not going to be talking about the new chapter uh because like i said it is before that chapter came out aside from that though um the only real thing that we're going to be going over this week um is just uh kind of reviewing some of the comments from last week's episode and then i can obviously now briefly mention that the only thing new in the uh dragon ball world um was like a leaked um image of the new well, like something from the new chapter which for those that don't know i don't really cover leaked things for dragon ball at least um i try to avoid all that kind of stuff because I, I i like uh savoring you know the 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 natural reaction and surprise whenever i do uh go in and uh you know record my own reactions to it and whatnot which I should definitely be doing this Friday. Uh, but I'll, I'll have a busy Friday. So if it's not up that Friday, it'll definitely be up later that weekend. But in any case, um, other than that, actually, now that I think about it, there's a brand new Dragon Ball Z game coming out. Um, there was a trailer that dropped. Um, but again, unfortunately, <laughs> I, it's been so hectic this week. And it's only in the middle of the week right now. And... Uh, you guys trust me there's gonna be a lot of discussion for this episode so fear not you're not gonna get gypped on this week's episode um but um i will uh make some time hopefully soon so i can get around to watching that uh new game hopefully hey, it's a uh, it's a banger from the impressions that i've been seeing from people i feel like it's about to be a battle royale dragon ball game that's what i get from just reading people's comments but i don't know how you know true or not that is again i have not seen the trailer yet so don't take my word for it um but i will see it soon mm -hmm. but uh but yeah so really quick just to give you guys a little bit a little bit of a rundown as far as what you can expect out of this episode like i said we're gonna go over some of the comments from last week's episode talk a little bit about that and then we're just gonna segue right into our main discussion which is something that outside of dragon ball it is very freaking big. It is huge. And it, it is something that myself and brother Ooze definitely pay close attention to. Um, aside from anything Dragon Ball. And that is Spider-Man. Okay, so that is going to be this week's uh, main topic. So let's get it right into the comments from last week. Head to thewaypro.com and use my code Uchi10 to save 10% off the entire website. So, um, so again, our, our frequent flyer here uh, is, is my boy Kronos, all right? I, I, I know this is Kronos. 
he's a regular on my stream it is definitely chronos all right so shout out to chronos all right one, one, one more again always uh providing us with some good stuff and a feedback to go off of to add on to this discussion so he goes on to say i guess the whole concept of super saiyan 4 can go many ways now so as a reminder if you have not watched or listened to last week's episode which i definitely advise you guys to go ahead and do uh we were talking about how uh super saiyan 4 uh whether it's called super saiyan 4 or not could pretty much you know be implemented and work out in the future of the story you know going forward once we get to that point after we get to the end of z of course um so they go on to say if they do bring it back it must be separate from all the super saiyan shit if we ignore the bullshit ass ticket or what is that oh bullshit ass tickles in the back explanation of super saiyan in universe 6 we have known super saiyan to be the manifestation of super saiyan or i'm sorry of saiyan power due to emotion and we have seen it in broly 2 uh not the number two but broly as well when his father was killed what i believe super saiyan 4 could be is the true power of the saiyans the grade 8 power while the, the super saiyan 1 2 3 are just bringing a fraction of that power being pulled out in base state and that's that actually lines up with pretty much what i was saying is that the 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 super saiyan 1 2 and 3 forms should essentially just be treated as kind of like uh power boost rather than full-on transformations when it comes down to how exactly uh super saiyan for like the look and the feel of it is because it, it would make more sense for um you know characters that are basically based off of monkeys to take on a form like that you know when they already do transform into these big ass apes in the first place right so they go on to say if broly could tap a great apes power and surpass super saiyan god itself then it would make sense why super saiyan 4 is actually stronger than super saiyan god and actually might be the true super saiyan god which beerus himself had seen so this is the first part of this two paragraph comment so do you want to uh throw anything in there you have any thoughts so far no no you can go on. okay um, and then they go on to say one of the ways they can maybe integrate Super Saiyan 4 as a concept is probably using it as a base to use their god abilities over giving their forms a unique identity. We saw how Goku was trying to use Ultra Instinct over his Super Saiyan states, but it made no much difference. Uh, but maybe Super Saiyan 4 will serve as the true Saiyan power and divine power and balance, allowing him to use the white hair power over it. Maybe call it Primal Instinct and Primal Ego. Give them a look of how Wukong looks. After all, he too has a humanoid body with ape features with divine power. That's actually a pretty great comparison and tie-in. Again, Wukong is another character based on the... Um, what is it called? I keep... I'm, I'm freaking... I don't know why I'm forgetting this at this, at, at, at this time, but... um. Uh, where, you know, obviously where, you know, Dragon Ball is pretty much derived off of, um, the, uh, uh Journey to the West, there it is, I'm freaking having a brain fart here, but Journey to the <laughs> West, they have, you know, uh, a character, Son Goku, blah, 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 he's a, he's a monkey kind of John, right, and Wukong, of course, another thing that's derived off of that, similar to Dragon Ball, and so this, and so Kronos is basically saying, like, okay, uh, if they're gonna if they're gonna make super saiyan 4 aka primal instinct look on some godly type stuff then they're gonna make him look like an even more humanoid uh well yeah that's what the super saiyan 4 is but humanoid form that's on some god level shit so yeah i can i can definitely see that happening but yo at the expense of making ultra instinct exactly what it seems to be kind of shaping itself into the latest kaioken that shit is that <laughs> You know, like that, that shit sucks, you know? Eh, eh, I guess, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because I mean, like, I just wish that, like I said, like, I just really wish that it was, they treated it like how they revealed it, you know? Where this is a, a super high level godly power that only, you know, those types of beings can really attain. And here we have these Saiyans that are pretty, that you know, they're basically mortal type beings that are attaining this level. And now Goku's basically using it like a Kaioken. He's trying to stack it on top of something that he's already got. So like, if they were to do that 
at that point with their primal instinct or super saiyan 4 or whatever i i'm sure it'll be hype i'm sure it'll look od but like at the at, at its core when it comes down to the principle the explanation behind it it's just gonna be like dude that's crazy because when they first revealed ultra instinct it was a huge deal man like everyone around the world was going nuts over this shit man yeah so i mean yeah i mean i don't know i hope i hope that i hope that you know something along these lines because chrono's pretty like he, he's pretty on on point with what we were saying about it anyway last week so i don't really have anything much else to add to what uh he said unless you do yeah no i mean i mean it would be interesting if like i guess <laughs> if uh if there was kind of a stack like you say like i mean yeah. like 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 it would be interesting to kind of see it but like it would be um i would be more interested in like how the process actually like were to happen like how it would happen right. like if it got to that point where like like for example, like let's say Goku learned how to actually utilize Kaioken in like uh, a Super Saiyan or Super Saiyan Blue type of state, in a sense. Like, but that's never happened, which right. is also kind of interesting. Cause like you would think, well, I mean, they're all they're each like their own techniques, I guess, in a sense. But I mean, who says you who says you can't kind of use two techniques at once? They just never really introduced it, I guess it would yeah. be interesting to see that though <laughs> if if they ever run out of ideas I, I mean that's a new idea in itself i'm not saying like if they run out of ideas but like <laughs> that would be definitely some new shit that we've never seen before in dragon ball yeah it's just like because sometimes with how they explain things like the way they explain things and then how they represent it or how they like show it off sometimes it don't make sense because like yeah. how you how are you gonna call something a technique when it it, it is basically a new form altogether? No, yeah, it's a form. So like I th I think the Kaioken isn't even a form. I think it's I think it's that's technique. more of yeah that's more of a technique. So like it would actually make sense if Goku like learned how to how to use that technique while in like super stand stage or some shit like that like to even up his power more yeah i guess but that like, does make sense yeah, like you're right because when you put it like that like technique plus form then i mean it makes sense you can't really argue it honestly like right. it would just it would just take a lot of energy and i mean technically goku should have the the energy or kai in this case to like pull that shit off if he like had a brain cell and fucking <laughs> thought of that shit <laughs> like yeah i mean it would it would be cool to kind of see it happen like because then his strength would just like fucking go great like imagine like super saiyan blue kyle well shit super saiyan blue kyle can times 100 times shit like yeah like that would like maximize his abilities but then it would overkill his body unless I'm like sure yeah unless i'm like because that man only went, what, like, times 20 against fucking the cheetah <laughs> or some yeah. shit back in the day? Like, back I mean, day, yeah. his his body should be able to actually low-key, like, I guess, um, in, endure more, like, at this point, you would think. Like, yeah. because back then, like, he did times 20 and he was beat up, but, like, where he's at now, like, you would expect him to be able to maybe not pull off times 100 because i don't know how much strain that shit would actually put on his body but like maybe at least like i don't even i don't even know where i would want to put him <laughs> like anywhere between like maybe 50 and 80 maybe like 90 and 100 would fucking i don't even know like they would have to make it make sense that, though yeah but 100 is that special number you know what i'm saying like well yeah like if they wanted to treat like 100 like a fucking eight gates type of thing then go ooh. right a fucking head <laughs> like that would be that, that, now that would be interesting but i wouldn't see it a uh, times 100 kaioken fucking killing goku <laughs> yeah like, it wouldn't be no last last uh resort type of thing because if it was then like i don't even know like wouldn't he have like used that shit low-key already like you know? yeah yeah that's true yeah well ah man this i don't know man that's why i'm saying like 
all this talk about stacking shit is like is it's just crazy to me because of how like i said how they originally you know revealed it showed it off and i do understand though at the same time that like at at its core ultra instinct is is supposed to be more of a state of mind kind of thing where it is you are all natural and you are on some bruce lee shit like you are the cup you are the water you are <laughs> you are free flowing your everything. body just acts on its own type head ass shit right but at the same time you have that alongside of all of these things that seem to come with it like how any other power up normally would so it's like it's it, it is what it is but then it's also like a contradiction of itself because like i don't understand how you can have that right and then you know it comes with all this other stuff at the same time you know and then it's like how can it not be many things at once you know what i'm saying like sure it can be a technique just fine and if you apply it in such a way where it essentially is the the the, the newer and improved better kaioken then okay sure because i mean realistically if that's what goku's about to start doing then guess what we ain't we don't we ain't never gonna have to see kaioken again there there would be no need for him to even times two times 20 times 47 none, none of that shit you know like he has ultra instinct now so if he wants to you know have a little boost he can go to super saiyan and then from there he can just straight up ultra instinct that bitch and he could keep his gold hair with a little white accent to it to kind of show everyone else around him while he's fighting that oh yeah he's in his in his natural ultra instinct state of being so you try yeah. to punch him he's gonna automatically move off yeah matter rip. of fact didn't wait no i'm tripping goku has used the kaioken state in super saiyan blue I'm, am i not right yes <laughs> no that's already happened like yeah yeah so okay so i'm not tripping <laughs> so it has happened already all right yeah um, so yeah yeah yeah, yeah I, I forgot about that low key so Yo. yeah and so this shit yeah so i mean he's not gonna like i mean yeah they could take that shit anywhere i mean as long they just have to kind of state it like if it's if ultra instinct's not a form and it's it's more of a technique in that manner then yeah he can he can technically um i guess be ultra like in the state of ultra instinct and like I don't know, pop out a fucking super regular Super Saiyan or what, whether it's Super Saiyan regular or Super Saiyan blue on top of Ultra Instinct and then, jeez, I don't know. You know, like he's just gonna have to be in control at that point and have the energy for it if they're gonna take it there, if that makes any sense. Yeah, I completely because, forgot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, because unlike Kaioken, well, yeah, no, actually, never mind, because now that I think about it, Kai uh, Kaioken and Ultra Instinct, they both share the similarities of taking a toll on his body, right? Especially when he unleashed it the first time against Jiren on the tournament in the tournament of power, and his body literally could just not hold yeah, it for too long. Was, it, there was like a time limit of each, yeah. So that that'll power. still apply. I mean, it's gonna, it, but that and that's what brings me brings me right back to it being a contradiction because okay, sure, it's a technique, but it's a power up at the same time because if the it, like a technique necess it shouldn't really cause you strain. I guess like if you wanna if you wanna understand it in or explain it in that tense because it's just like if you do a move sure it's gonna take energy or it's gonna it, it, it's gonna take it's gonna make you tired if you if you keep doing it right i mean i don't know it, it, it it's such a it's like a, it's such a convoluted conversation to have because <laughs> like literally it, it can go in any, you can literally go in any which way but on obviously honestly it's whatever because I, I, I can see this dude freaking do an ultra instinct on top of blue or super saiyan or whatever the fuck that they get in the future so yeah yeah i mean shit. well yeah i mean it, 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 it can make sense they just have to make it make sense because how can it it's like a double-edged sword yep um so you could kind of say the same thing about ultra instinct in a way yeah but 
I guess it just depends. Cause like, Ultra Instinct is more about the mental and I guess awareness and shit like that. And Kaioken's just literally, you could argue it's a technique plus power up type of boost. Like it, it's supposed to enhance your ability, like your physical abilities and shit. It has nothing to do about mental. It's just, it's literally just it's just raw abilities. power type shit. Exactly, yeah. and 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 Ultra Instinct is literally about awareness and letting yourself go and basically you're on some fucking bruce lee shit like yeah like you, you feel me so i mean th they have their differences so like minor so who, who yeah yeah so like who's to say <laughs> this man can't do like an ultra instinct kaioken <laughs> Fuck, like, man. If like they he could have best shit. of both the worlds this nigga, this nigga <laughs> would be fucking this nigga would be bruce lee on fucking roids Oh with, with my the physical abilities, God. Ultra Instinct, Kyle Ken times ten, whatever. They might as well just, they might as well just come up with a rainbow <laughs> form, so you could just fucking go all colors I mean, at like, once. I mean, Loki, that shit would be dope as fuck. Not gonna cap. How would that it, even look? Like, think be, about it. It would be the blue. It would be the the blue or white aura, right? And then the Kyle Ken's always red, so it would be like a little tint of red within the aura and shit. <laughs> it like it would, it would, it would mix uh, well. All right, it would well, mix well. It, yeah. it doesn't have to change its hair color. Just, it's gonna be the aura. Yeah, a tint something. Yeah, that shit would be dope. Not gonna lie. Shit, man. Kiritoriyama, I hope you listen. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. I freaking. Nah, that that would be would nice, be dope but. As fuck, so. Yeah, we I can see, see it happening though, but it, would, it just depends. Well, that was just one comment, so let's get <laughs> on to this other one, right? Um, so this person says, I don't agree with giving Goku and Vegeta another form. They already have a lot of forms already. If you're going to give Super Saiyan 4 to anyone, I would make Super Saiyan 4 unique to Broly, since he already tapped into the grade 8 power in Super, in Super Broly, um, and it would be nice to have his own transformation like Goku and Vegeta have. Um, and then he says, Goku goes the angel path, Vegeta with the God of Destruction path, Broly with the same path, unlock a Super Saiyan 4. This is out of the blue, but imagine a fusion between Goku, Vegeta, Broly, the power of Ultra uh, Instinct with Vegeta, Ultra Ego, power of Broly, Super Saiyan 4. Okay, so that's a lot to cover right uh, in that, that comment. Is wild in that. Yeah, no, but hold <laughs> on, hold on, hold on. So I will, I will say though, the idea of allowing Broly to have his own unique shit, much like how Goku and Vegeta have their own set pathways, is actually something that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I, I'll agree with that. But as yeah. far as this man saying triple fusion, ah, that's a negative. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Never so happened. on that regard, right? I've in the past. I myself, I'm not gonna lie, I'll admit, I have thought of that. I have thought Bro, what of- What are they gonna do? Do a fucking, have a triangle? <laughs> no, 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 nothing like that, right? Think about it, it's easy, right? You literally just have the usual, Goku and Vegeta, Gogeta, mm -hmm. and then Gogeta fuses with Broly, done. And then that's that, I don't, dude, that do fusion would last like five minutes. <laughs> Bruh. They would probably demolish the planet just by transform, by, by fusion, by fusing. <laughs> yes yes literally like that 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 might be something that if they ever do that they'd have to do it off planet probably in that dimension where they had the terminal power where it doesn't affect anything and they could just it's like it's like the void what is it what did they call that shit it was like the something with the void in the, in the name something like that no, but yeah i think a triple fusion is a little too much <laughs> that lie. is that honestly though that is on some video game type shit uh, for real for real but um like, i'm pretty you sure can't, you can't really have three bot like you can't have three minds controlling one bot. like that's some weirdo shit uh, well yeah i mean it's in a way it's it's kind of strange even even after all these years of watching dragon ball like i never fully understood the like just the concept or like how it works when you you have two individuals few literally fusing into one body but then at the same time that they are they're essentially creating a whole entire different person mm -hmm. with the personality traits of both people yeah. so like it's kind of like i don't really know if you would want to say like oh at certain times like it's vegeta that's you know taking, taking over, over yeah. or then it's goku that's taking over I, I feel like it would make the most sense if we would just understood it as as soon as they're fused, it is neither of them. It is literally 
Gogeta or Vegeta or whatever, right? And that person is like in full control and he only comes out when obviously the two of them to are together and of course he knows everything that the two of them know because you know they're combining all of everything about them like their memories their experience and it, it just you know it, it obviously everything combines is what i'm trying to say so like that's how i would like to understand it because i just feel like it makes mo the most sense like that and then i've also seen people online in the past like say like vegeto is kind of more like vegeta and gogeta is a little bit more like goku but i don't know like i guess you can see that during certain moments but i i feel like that can be debunked really easily so i don't know i feel like like i said i just feel like it makes most sense if, if we were to just go with like the yeah like this individual this brand new individual character acts like both of them because he has both of their qualities in one character type shit so yeah yeah i kind of agree with that just because yeah. like it would be weird to say like like who like i don't know like you like having two minds like literally and yeah exactly one body like i don't know if that would make complete sense just because right. like you can't say like don't like vegeta for example saying all right goku you could take over right now and then like exactly yeah, like so so like i think i feel like once they fuse like um like two minds become one and it's just uh it's just like one it's one whole new being like exactly with the personality traits of both so they act like and that's why you can i guess you can say that um like at certain moments it looks like it's more of goku or, or, or vegeta um depending yeah. i guess on the fighting circumstances but that's because like that's that's like two essentially two minds in one now exactly. so like yeah I, yeah that makes more sense yeah I, I was gonna say that like think of it i mean and this th this is something that I, I feel like no one in the fandom has ever conceptualized but i feel like this is very similar right take take reproducing right when you have a mother and a father create a brand new ch like child a whole brand new person all together they are literally combining their traits into one new being and sometimes that kid will come out maybe more like the father or more like the mother but they will still have qualities that both individuals brought to the table that's just how genetics work like like Take us, for example. We pretty much got mom's skin. And, mm. like, we got the video game traits from dad. <laughs> you know what I'm <laughs> saying? Like, that, and, 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 and boom. Like, all three of his kids, you know, came out with the video game trait. Like, we're all into games. We're all into anime and type shit. You know, that's just how it goes. So, you know, I got I got the shitty vision from mom. You know, like, you low-key did too. You just don't like wearing your fucking glasses. That's just the difference between the two of us so that's like that that the same concept i feel like should also be thought about and applied to when thinking about fusion because in dragon ball because like that's pretty much how it is because like you know like they're not a megazord they're not like a a, a thing an entity that you know you have people inside controlling and then yet like some might have other controls versus others you know what i'm saying like it's not like that at all like it is a brand new being altogether but digressing and uh, just going back to the other part of this um oh yeah the other thing that i did want to say is uh, on the whole fusion thing is that there's a game i literally think is called dragon ball fusions or whatever on the 3ds and i have it i just never fucking played much of it i, I think i started to and then i like i don't know i feel like i started tr i tried to start playing it on like a plane and i just passed out and i never went back to it again <laughs> But that game, conceptually, is literally a game where you have the ability to basically make whatever kind of crazy fusion you want. And they even have it so that it's like, it can it can literally be on some five-person fusion type shit. And it, it literally gets too crazy. Which is something that, again, I really don't think we would ever actually see happen. I feel like that would even be a, a very far stretch for some something like even super dragon ball heroes to do because they're already at a point where 
they're bringing in like on uh, they have a multiverse going on in in super dragon ball heroes where they have a xeno goku and xeno vegeta from a whole completely different timeline coming in and they're the ones that have super saiyan 4 but yet they fuse and now they're applying god key to their super saiyan 4 shit and they're calling it something else like that's where they're at now with super dragon ball heroes so like i feel like once they even i feel like at once they may might start to run out of ideas and shit you might see something similar happen on that type of craziness over there um but yeah that is too much i agree with brother so um but yeah and then the other part i like i said i conceptually it would be cool to see broly exclusively having that kind of a form but i feel like as cool as that would be i really feel like goku and vegeta seeing that a guy like broly could really unleash and unlock this kind of power that's natural i feel like once they see that they're probably gonna be like oh we could do that shit too then fuck it like you know like i, I feel like for them since they've attained such high powers as it is like third party powers nonetheless like they as soon as they see someone of their own race like unlock some shit that they realize they could have done this entire time like you know who's to say that they couldn't do it too you know i feel like at that point it would it would be a choice it would be like okay like we don't want to do it bro you can hold that like that's your thing i you know goku has ultra instinct bro, they could dead us like they could just get the dragon balls and wish for their tails back on g shit if that's how it was it would it's supposed to be like because i mean their tails got cut off so like they yeah. honestly honestly if the tail got cut off you would think that it would just regrow or regenerate if if dragon ball was like that by right. now but right. it's it hasn't been like that so if they're gonna like if they're gonna maybe introduce this shit and goku and vegeta are curious about the form then and they're gonna need their tails then i mean the easiest way or i guess most logical way uh is to wish their tails back essentially because they, sh they should be able to make that happen so i mean i feel that because it, they made a whole big stink out of it in gt when they really literally tried it the hardest way possible and literally forced pulling it out of fucking goku's back end and yeah i don't even know like how did that even <laughs> come like like did that happen because goku became small again and like his tail quote unquote just started to come back like it because of the tailbone bullshit like I don't even remember. So out of that, from what I remember, I mean, it's been years since I fucking watched any GT, but um, it, it's kind of assumed or implied that however way they snipped their tails when they were trying to like permanently get rid of, you know, their tails so that they don't, they didn't, you know, unleash the great ape shit anymore. It's, it's, it's kind of implied that there's a little nub there still but we just never see it because they're always <laughs> fully clothed and even when they you know take on battle damage and whatnot it's not like their pants are always on like they still got shit around their their their, their, their waist and upper ass area anyway so like i said like we'll never see that shit even when like the like the, the top part of their geese or whatever are completely fucked up mm-hmm you know like so as of right now like we like they could they could very well still have that unless there might be any one of those like bullshit episodes that they they go out swimming and they're like naked for like that frame <laughs> and we see their ass that 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 could be the one thing that could literally just debunk this entirely right in, right here and now like oh nope it's completely gone but so but I feel like, yeah, with what you said, that is literally the most logistical thing to do is to find the Dragon Balls and wish for the Tails back. Simple as that. Done. Mm, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. All right. That's so with all of that now out of the way, um, those are some great comments. Um, again, guys, if you wish to 
add to our discussions on uh, these episodes please feel free to drop your comments down below also um respond to the uh, polls off of the spotify version if you are listening to spotify and other than that you can obviously write in um to our email address fullpowerpod at gmail.com once again that is fullpowerpod at gmail.com that will do it for this week's uh as far as you know the dragon ball portion of things so from here on out guys this is we're bringing on a brand new topic discussion which again if you guys are messing with it we can definitely you know just keep adding on more to this full power podcast because like even though this is very dragon ball centric again uh we have you know brought other discussion pieces like we were talking about fucking Yu Gi Oh last week and we talked about my hero already so yeah going on with the full power podcast we are now heading into the marvel cinematic universe territory so mr brother ooch i understand you just watched the trailer of a spider-man no way home what do you think there's a lot of shit i just want i would just want to watch the movie honestly get a real opinion i guess like when i think of trailers when it comes to like marvel and shit like i like i don't i can't really think of much honestly like i mean you could i guess you can predict a little bit or some shit like that but i don't even think i'm like that deep of a level unless it's anime honestly (laughs) unless you got something and then i'll feed off of you i guess okay that's fair yeah, yeah so i mean with with basically how we go about this mcu business because um we're we've already established that brother Ush does not read he, do, he does not read manga so he's definitely not reading fucking comic books <laughs> okay um even though you know comics are very colorful and in full color actually and the art is i mean not to, not to take anything away from any of the the manga art but i mean comics are presented in a very different fashion um and they're 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 very awesome right so outside of that um yeah i (laughs) i i literally we, we we both literally go off of what what the mcu have basically started so we've done a pretty good job with basically watching every movie and now tv series well as far as the tv series goes i've definitely been watching all of them <laughs> but uh ever since the post credit scene of the hulk we have been keeping up with everything that they've been doing and so it brings us to i would say spider mans one of your favorite superheroes too right yeah all right good because probably like top five top three okay five. that's it okay yeah he, he's definitely my like he's in the one spot for me i'm not even gonna hold you like (laughs) i love spider-man i I, I love this man since i was a freaking very little kid um but ever since uh the the last spider-man solo film which was far from home um ever since that post credit or mid credit scene when they basically outed this man's identity and (laughs) he he has been living through hell and they showed the original actor that played the J. Jonah Jameson from the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man films, okay? Ever since that very moment, I was on my prediction shit. And I was calling it from that very moment. I said, dude, this is going to set up a multiverse. And this is going to set up a potential like, like Spider-Verse situation where we're going to see multiple Spider-People on screen for a for a freaking movie right and even then i'm sure people thought i was nuts i don't, I don't remember what you were saying to those <laughs> thoughts that i was having yeah, um i probably agree with Loki. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so so then like you know sh- this is the ca- this is the kind of like the timeline i guess that i'm like laying out for everybody so then from there that from that point on like shortly thereafter then rumors started coming out like oh like toby Maguire and andrew garfield the former uh actors that played their respective spider-man characters in those movies uh are are reportedly being are seen or whatever at these film locations for the next spider-man film 
and everybody's like huh huh like what <laughs> and so that's kind of where it all really started to like settle in because not only was it just those two specifically oh you know what i'll take that back or not really take it back let me just uh rewind just a little bit because before those rumors came out i feel like if i'm getting this right there was rumors about the actors that were villains from those movies like jamie fox like it was reported that jamie fox was on the set for the upcoming and everyone was like why would he be there he was he was electro in the amazing spider-man and for a guy like me i was like oh my god it's happening like straight up i'm like it's fucking happening right so the same thing also happened with the dr octavius actor um and then and then afterwards that's when like the toby and andrew stuff started really coming in and you know and it, it's been ever since 2019 when all of these rumors and speculations these conversations were started okay like this is how much of a big deal it was even then now it's literally we're towards the end of 2021 a whole two years later and we're finally getting this freaking movie and and in between then and now marvel has literally been beefing up their whole catalog and the overall story entirely because um as you guys might have been watching on disney plus we now have a little show called the loki which confirmed and just oh my god that show was so godlike because it really just showed you what the like like how much trouble a lot of these characters are about to be in and how crazy this whole entire story is about to turn out because the possibilities are literally endless okay we learned through the loki show like not no not only is there a multiverse but obviously within the multiverse the the concept of quote-unquote variants or i guess to explain it in layman's terms these are these are these are people that are essentially like a version of you but in another universe right and so yeah. as soon as that term came to be you know what i you know what i said brand i said oh so j jones jameson from the freaking post credit scene mid credit scene that was a variant right there boom it was, i was like yo that was a variant so that means that toby andrew and tom holland they are all basically variants of each other now now i want to fast forward to the trailer that just dropped the other day okay and now this is not in the, the funny part is this official trailer was shorter than the teaser trailer i feel like the teaser trailer was like three minutes and this one was like a minute and 30 seconds i'm pretty sure something like that mm. and there's a line that doc ock says when you know after he goes hello peter right yeah, and he, he said he did <laughs> yeah. he, he said this is not peter parker uh-huh <sighs> like yeah. dude that right there that was confusing as fuck i was like what Yo, what, do you mean, like, what, what, what do you mean that's confusing that dude dude that confirms it right there boom done he nah, straight up spoiled it <laughs> Well, I mean, yeah, I was just low-key connecting the dots a little bit. Because once he said that, I was like, what does he fucking mean? That's not Peter Parker. Is like, well, th but then, and then I remembered that the whole point of all this shit happening is because he wanted to, he wanted everyone to forget that he was Peter Parker, or Spider-Man or some shit, right? Is that right? Yeah, so the whole, I feel like, oh, so, okay, essentially the plot from what we can tell, outside of all the freaking epicness that's about to go down in this film, okay? is that because Peter is going through so much shit with now that the world knows his true identity, he wants to essentially erase that memory from everybody so that he can kind of live his life in peace yeah. without being like crucified publicly or shamed or being made to look like a murderer because that's the thing. Because of the shit that Mysterio did he is now believed to be a man oh, like a murderer like that they, they they're looking at spider-man like oh he's a he's an actual menace and j jonah jameson is probably gonna be like yeah fuck this guy like this is what i've been telling y'all for years like this guy's a menace he's a murderer he's a kill like you know what i'm saying and oh man like and because of that 
he wants to reverse all that and but because you doing something like that is is gonna come at a very big cost this is gonna fuck with literally everything when i say everything i mean everything to the point where somehow something clearly goes wrong within this spell that dr strange does okay and it literally rips the multiverse apart and it's like they're all trying to combine within where they're at in their dimension and so yeah and the other the other line that was very uh interesting right was that doc ox said you're you're messing with ghosts because all of these guys died when facing spider-man mm -hmm. right so this means that whatever fucking happened wrong with this with this with this spell it literally has everything to do directly with every other uh universe that has a spider-man in it seemingly because it's now pulling those villains at a point in time when they were still alive and that yeah. means and that like think about it right goblin died before doc ock showed up as doc ock in spider-man 2 correct mm -hmm. okay doc ock went before sandman and then venom shows up in spider-man 3 Mm -hmm. Now, I don't remember Sandman dying, though, in Spider-Man 3, but apparently he does. And it's funny because I literally just rewatched it like a, probably like a month and a half ago. So I, I got to fucking rewatch it again because I literally don't remember him <laughs> actually dying. I thought he just kind of like peaced after that shit or whatever. Or they locked him up or something. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. And then like and then, and then you go to the Andrew Garfield movies, right? Uh, his first villain was the, the lizard. I don't remember him dying either, but fuck it. Like, it doesn't even matter because he's now brought in electro also brought in so it's like simultaneously all of these things that are happening it's literally messing with time and space son yep, yep. that's crazy and and this is where this is where I, I give you guys my next bit of prediction right they're making this movie out to seem like it's about to be three spider-man characters versus the sinister six right because mysterio is technically still out there so i feel like he could definitely show up in this movie as well i mean shit oh. he's the one that loki caused this shit so we exactly. have to show up exactly no fucking sense <laughs> right so so here's here's what i'm thinking that's kind of what they're giving us they're giving us this impression like okay this is what's gonna happen and they're they're basically dropping a very 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 big tease despite everything else that we are kind of already picking up what they're putting down with these just bringing all these other villains in is that this peter parker that doc ock has has, has having interactions with is not his peter parker mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. that that line i'm bringing that up again because that line is literally confirming that there is a more than highly definitely gonna happen chance that we're gonna see these other these other characters. I don't care, Brandon, if they're in their shit for two minutes, they're gonna be in that movie. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but here's the other thing. The other thing that is that people are not gonna expect because everybody is too distracted with just waiting to see Toby, waiting to see Andrew. Do you realize this is the perfect opportunity to introduce? other spider-men spider-person characters that we haven't even seen yet mm. do you understand this this could be our first time we actually see a live action miles morales what i <laughs> see mm. dude, dude this could literally be the first time we see any kind of spider-man character bro any of them Spider-Man 2099, Gwen, Spider Gwen. We can see, eh, we can see all of them. We can, we can see the Japanese Spider-Man Takuya. Oh mm. my God! Everybody listen, is. listen. And the same, honestly, the same thing applies to the villains too, because that part towards the end of the trailer where Doctor Strange is like, I can't control it. Like they're all, they're all coming through. Like, and you see all those purple breaks in the in the sky and shit, bro. Yeah. It's, it's over. Like, oh my God! It, it can mean so much. 
it, it can mean so much. Like, like it's funny how Doctor Strange's movie is going to be called the Multiverse of Madness. When realistically, this is this is literally Spider-Man, the Multiverse of Madness, <laughs> because that's literally what's about to happen right now, son. <laughs> That's just great. Uh, let's see. All I all I know is that I cannot wait for December seventeenth to to come on. I, I in my reaction video, which I advise all of you guys are listening, still listening to this, to go and watch. Okay, I'm I am just happy, and I'll say this right now. I am happy that they didn't show me what I wanted to see, and obviously what I wanted to see was other Spider-Man characters. But you know what? I'm fucking tipping my hat off to <laughs> Disney. I'm tipping my hat off to Marvel Studios. I am literally tipping my hat off to every single person that's involved with this film that made all the decisions going into what they were about to show in this trailer. Everybody deserves a race because they are still <laughs> at this very moment keeping it as tight lipped as they possibly can because, yo. As soon as that movie drops, it's gonna be insane. I'm telling you, the internet's gonna break, and like like that movie is gonna make more money than Endgame. I'm I'm calling it right now. Yeah, I mean that trailer, like it would. I don't. I I wouldn't necessarily call it hype. Like it's hype in the sense of the movie's coming soon type shit and be ready uh -huh. for it. But like as far as like like any of the scenes i wouldn't call it hype i would just say you you have to really watch it and listen mm -hmm. um so it's basically informative or yeah yeah that's how that's how i would call the trailer and that's like if you really pay attention to it because like yeah because <laughs> yep. like, you can't you can't just like i guess i mean it, I, that's why they did a good job i guess like you said because like they didn't they didn't um, show like I guess the hype moments or the things that people really wanted to see, which is multiple Spider-Man mm -hmm. uh, and shit like yep. that. So, I mean, they're, <laughs> they're keeping it tight. They're, keep, they're, 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 they're making people curious, I guess, which is a good thing. Oh my god! Like, cause like I mean, anything could go down now since it, it's kind of like multiverse type shit. Yes. Yes. So, like I don't know, man. Look, 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 I'm, 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 I'm going to give you something to, to make you pop a little bit too, okay? And this is, this is a far stretch, again, because again, like, uh, now that, now, oh, <laughs> you read my fucking mind. <laughs> Listen, I didn't get Tony Stark. Don't come <laughs> back, man. There's going to be some problemos. Oh, why? Uh, he, but... was your, he was your favorite. What happened? No, I, I want him to come back. Like, what? Oh, I thought you said don't come back. No, 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 no. They should have never killed my mans. But you know how <laughs> you know you know how these people do. Uh, <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie, I have to give all credit to Brie for that one because she actually brought that up when we was eating dinner today. I was well, like, Well yeah, I mean like it like this is this is where this is where Marvel can really take a turn, I guess, because within this movie it's fucking up the universe like because it's not not everything's coming into one or so whatever however they're gonna play it out with the multiverse shit um yeah so like we don't like i i can't say where they're gonna be at in a specific time frame or where this time is gonna end or like how how essentially how is this going to end to where now um now we kind of move on into the next phase of uh uh what should we call it of marvel this is, fa this is phase <laughs> four right now like we're 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 currently in phase four yeah like 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 what th like this is their <laughs> opportunity to bring back the bitch that died i forget her name or oh fucking they're not bringing back black widow well, I, I highly yeah, doubt this, they're gonna this, do that this is this is their chance to kind of like if they really wanted to bring iron man back in this case i don't know essentially how they would pull it off but they could think of some shit if it's fucking with the multiverse but like yeah no nah, like they, they this is the this is the stage of where shit shit can kind of twist or you know like yeah that they'll think of some new shit or i don't know hey hey maybe maybe <laughs> these motherfuckers will will actually make hulk fucking hulk 
<laughs> like, like maybe, maybe, maybe this, maybe they'll actually make this man, this man a, a, a non pussy. Like, <laughs> <Aww>. like, <laughs> like, shit. Maybe I don't know. Maybe they'll introduce more fucking hoax somehow. I don't fucking know. Like, shit. Well, no, they, yeah, no, that's true. Um, I think recently they had a Disney Plus day, and they actually revealed a shitload of new things that are coming next year and the year after that. <sighs> And one of those shows was She-Hulk, and Hulk is in that one. I know you want a better Hulk and stuff, but listen, man. man. They, they completely fucked his his whole role up, bro. <laughs> they made this man a side character, dead ass. <laughs> they don't yeah, even I, give this man his own movies no more. That's how you fucking know disrespect. I, <laughs> this, the disrespect this man is getting, but it is what it is. The other thing, obviously, the other thing that I wanted to add as far as the whole Spider-Man debacle and, you know, predictions and all that type of shit goes is that, uh, yo, they, 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 we could actually see Mary Jane die in this movie. Mary Jane. Bruh. Yo, because uh, I'm, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to say it like this. Think, let's think about this for Bruh, a second. What? Yo, <laughs> think about it. Listen, Mary think Jane? About it. Think about it. Oh, no. Watch the trailer, and which I know you already did, right? But check, but peep how she was falling. Yes, yes, from, yes. That was I, exactly I how Gwen Stacy died in uh, in uh, the Amazing Spider-Man Two. Mm -hmm. It was. It's like the parallels are lining up, dude. I'm telling you. Man, I'm telling you. Jane. There's gonna be some serious issues if that happens. But yeah, I mean, that's the thing. I feel like this movie is going to be hella tragic, as epic as it's going to be at the same time. Listen, they, they can't, they, they're trying to, if they if they really pull that bullshit off, they're just really trying to, they're just really, <laughs> they're just really trying to fucking mess with Spider-Man's head, bro. Because this man already lost his, his main man's Iron Man, now he's going to lose fucking girl, bro. Uh-huh, that's, that's the crazy part about it. This is like, when you now think about it. Yo, that's what I'm saying. Like, if you think about it, it's like it's almost as if like Spider-Man at some point is doomed to like go through some wild shit. But I mean, every universe is different because clearly there are certain there are certain universes where he, Toby Toby or I'm sorry Peter Parker dies, and that's how G Spider Gwen becomes a thing. You know, like what even is that? Spider oh, so in the in, in the in the comics, there's a there's a alt obviously there's an alternate storyline where peter parker dies and gwen stacy becomes spider-man essentially oh, mm -hmm. so they call her spider gwen and her design is actually kind of dope she's the only one that has like a hoodie feature in her suit which is pretty dope interesting mm -hmm. yeah so i mean like that that that's another thing that's very true man that's like any like like anything and everything could could happen like yo, if we had a Tony Stark cameo in this shit, like I could. Oh bro. my god, I don't know, bro. Yeah, I don't know, man. Like it open. It, this movie's gonna open up the positive. Like it's gonna really show how OD the possibilities are. Like they 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 could probably get away with just about anything within a set reason, but even that is like very slim because like. Marvel has been proving themselves. They have they have a very good track record of showing how well they can write a, a, an, an elongated story that is seemingly going to just go on for as long as they want it to. Like there is no real realistically there is no end to any of this shit. You understand? Like <laughs> it's only it's only going to get bigger and worse. Like and, and worse at, in in the tense that they're going to have bigger problems to deal with because i don't i'm sure you didn't see the eternals movie no. but even that yo oh my god even that movie it really just shows you the scope of how minute the things that are happening with just the avengers cast has been like you thought thanos and him winning and them having to go back in time to find the stones was a big deal for them to just fucking fi quote unquote fix everything dude the eternals watched the entire time at any point they could have literally just helped them but they didn't because that's a that was in that's in their rules they're supposed to let humans like kind of you know evolve on their own type shit 
They're basically the fucking gods of Dragon Ball Super, bro. <laughs> yes, exactly. The but, angels and shit. But yo, but even even with the Eternals, that sets that it sets up so much that a lot of characters don't even realize. But not to say that the things that are going on with you know what's going on on Earth is not a big deal because listen, it's fucking with the whole with, uh, with not even just their world, but everyone else's. The multiverse is crazy. It's madness. It's literally about to go down. So, as soon as those tickets go on 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 pre-order, I am I am gonna be getting them shits. I am going to whatever the earliest showing is, <laughs> and it's it's probably gonna be on the 16th. It's gonna be the day before because you already know how that goes. That's okay, a, yeah, so that's a Thursday, bro. Oh yeah, listen, I'm gonna Friday. I'm gonna take off. Damn, both really, of those days really i'm li like i'm not playing any games when it comes to this film okay that is going to i'm telling you right now like i said i'm predicting this is gonna sell better than endgame and it's going to be the most well-received superhero movie of all time since endgame endgame set the bar and now they're gonna top themselves and they're just gonna sh go on to show and prove that spider-man is one of the best superheroes and a series of movies of all time this is only going to make sony and marvel studios continue to work together and it's just gonna be good all good things going forward to be honest like i can't wait it's I mean, i'm I, saying I, I it's gonna be the see, best i could see how it can top end game because this is literally the transition afterwards and shit so like yes. after this like it's going to set up other things that we aren't sure of yet but once we watch the movie we'll, we'll know or we'll have our predictions and shit yo because dude think about it think about endgame think about infinity war okay fuck endgame for a second think about how infinity war ended infinity war ended literally everybody fucking died like mostly all of the characters right they left us leaving that theater with our jaws dropped and like, I can't believe they just did that. Fucking cucks. <laughs> but yo, but think about it. The difference here between that and this is that we only had a year in between that movie and Endgame to wait to see them all come back because we knew ultimately that was going to happen, but we just didn't know how, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was, yeah. it's not, that wasn't even heavily implied. That's just like, that's what was definitely going to happen free okay mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. now you now but now see the spider-man film okay it's not like it's obvious that they're gonna have other spider-man characters from the past show up because they're already showing off these villains but at the same time they're not they're not making it like they, they're still leaving with they're still they're still leaving a little bit of doubt within people or trying to at least but i feel like they're gonna really get us with what no one is expecting to happen in that movie and that's what's really gonna put this over endgame because with endgame you knew everyone was gonna come back in spider-man everybody is heavily predicting and speculating that we're definitely gonna see toby Maguire. we're definitely gonna see andrew garfield but it's these other characters and things and ideas and moments that we're not even thinking about that that's what's gonna literally be like yo this is this was gonna be better i'm literally i'm 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 really putting a lot of fucking stock into this film but dude i feel so confident in it based on how they've been handling it and what they've been showing and what they haven't been showing that yo this is going to be better than endgame it's gonna make more money than endgame and it's gonna literally make history within the movie industry and the superhero movie industry and i can't wait i i i i i'm taking off work i'm going to see this fucking film early as soon as i can is I'm, I'm not playing no games with this shit <laughs> yeah 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 this is the movie you're gonna have to buy i actually buy popcorn or some shit and need some type of food to, oh to, my god so. yeah nah, i'm a slushy worthy and shit clearly i <laughs> I feel like yeah, as a default, I at least always get a slush. Nah, nah, nah. Not every movie deserves that shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what, you you think the fucking the concession stand sales go towards the Marvel Studios? 
I mean, uh, for me personally, I I'm buying slushies for the right movie. I, I, <laughs> Yo, that's I, I ain't doing it just for any movie, man. Like for My Hero Academia, I had to buy a slushie back. Okay, so well. Slushie. But normally, I'll just sneak my ass in there with a the water. Like I'm chilling. <laughs> but I mean, <laughs> yeah. some, sometimes some of these movies, man, you gotta need some of that that extra punch. You know? uh -huh. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. It. Well, my question for you now is what what the hell movies are you going to pay for that you don't already feel confident in that's going to be a good movie? Uh, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like, because, like, I'm pretty sure you and I both literally only go to the theaters to see fucking superhero shit or oh, yeah. anime. Yeah, it's super. It's generally those two, yeah. <laughs> generally, yeah. generally. If I'm at the movie theaters for anything else, it's, like, rare, I guess that's what i'm or saying some shit like that and even yeah so i mean yeah yeah as well. Well, <laughs> well guys i think that just the, just about wraps things up for this week's episode i hope you guys enjoyed all this mcu discussion and like i said if y'all fucked with it let us know and we'll definitely continue with more if there's you know ever newer updates and whatnot or things that you know you want to you guys want us want to hear us discuss about um but you know in general if y'all got any other questions or the, you know like i said topic ideas that y'all want us to want to hear us talk about just let me let us know in the comments on spotify at the email fullpowerpod at gmail.com brother Ushi, i got you got anything you want to leave with the people before we completely sign out here nah man Wait. yeah nah i mean stay blessed stay stay up you feel me stay up work, work right. hard every day <laughs> absolutely so all right guys well make sure y'all are taking care of yourselves may the power protect y'all stay safe stay clean and stay the hell inside i'll see y'all next time